Hello and welcome to the Web123 software tutorial. My name is Daniel and in the following set of videos I'm going to be running you through the basics of the Web123 software, how to build pages and content, how to edit existing content, how to move items around on the website and a few other basic tips to help you get started with building your new Web123 site. In this video in particular I'll be showing you through what you can actually see when you first log into your website and what all these toolbars and icons and buttons all will allow you to do. So first off, let's start with the most important, which is the Web123 Gadget Bar. That's what you can see up here in the top left hand corner. So to the right of the Web123 logo, you'll see this option here, which is the control panel. Now this is full of all sorts of tools that are mainly focused on the day-to-day -day upkeep of the website. The activity and messages section will show you any messages that have come through the website, such as any people filling out your contact us form. The statistics and reports section will show you a detailed day-by-day -day breakdown of the traffic coming into your website, how people arrived at your website, which pages are the most popular, and many more statistics. Page setup will allow you to add and remove pages from the main menus on your website. Marketing and mailouts is an add-on feature to the standard Web123 website where you can create branded newsletters and send these out to a list of subscribers via email. Now the Web123 shopping cart is also an add-on feature as well. Now what this will do is this will enable your site to sell products online and this section of the site is where you can manage and track your orders. Website admin is the last option in this list that you'll need to know about. Now this is where you can change a lot of the global settings of the website such as the entire website's name. Moving on from here, the next button in the toolbar is the appropriately named edit this page button. This will of course allow you to edit the current page that you're looking at. In this case this will edit the home page. Editing pages is something that I'm going to be going through in much greater detail in the next video in this introductory series. The next option moving along is the ever reliable help button. The next option moving along is the help button. There are two menus that sit underneath here, the help center. Now this is chock a block full of tutorials and all sorts of other bits and pieces that will show you a lot of how our software works, as well as give you a lot more extra information about extra things you might know about how our sites work. For example, there's a lot of details in there about how to go about setting up an online shopping cart. The next option underneath here as well is the option to raise a ticket. Now this is a way you can get in contact with the support staff at Web123 directly. So if anything's going wrong on the website or if you've accidentally deleted something and need the guys at Web123 to restore it for you, no stress. Just simply raise a ticket for it and we'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. The next option from here is fairly self-explanatory, the option to log out. This will log you out of your admin account, just in case if you want to look at what the front end of the website looks like, without all these toolbars and edit icons floating around everywhere. And the final two buttons in the Web123 gadget bar is the create and find menus. Now, these menus are probably the two most important menus on your website. I'll be going through what these do in much greater detail in an upcoming video and explaining how to build content and add it into your website. The next thing that you'll see on the site is what we call an edit icon or an edit cog. Now these are small grey icons that you can see floating all over the website. There's a couple down here and there's a few up here. These all do different things and edit things in different ways. And again, I'll be going through what these do in much greater detail in an upcoming video. So that about covers the basics of what you'll first be able to see when you log into your new Web123 website. Stay tuned for the next video on how to create content and add it to pages. Thanks for watching.